Looking to improve your iPhone's performance? You can increase battery life, free up storage space, protect your privacy, and more simply by removing certain apps. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com, and in this video, I'll be telling you which apps you should delete from your iPhone. Now let's get started. There are six different types of apps you should consider removing from your iPhone. I'll be going through each type of app you should uninstall, along with helpful tips and examples for each. At the end of the video, I'll also show you how to uninstall an app from your iOS device. Let's get started with the first category of apps you should uninstall. The first type of app you should get rid of are the built-in apps that come pre-installed on your device, also known as bloatware. On iPhone, there are several apps created by Apple that come pre-installed, including Maps, Weather, iCloud Drive, iBooks, and more. We'd recommend getting rid of the ones you aren't using. Not all pre-installed apps can be uninstalled, but you can remove many of them. A list of pre-installed apps we'd recommend deleting will be in the description box below. When you try to delete a pre-installed app, you'll notice that some, like phone and messages, will not have the X option and cannot be deleted. The second type of app you should delete are apps that track your location. For privacy and safety reasons, as well as to conserve your mobile data and battery life, you should delete any apps that use your device's location. Built-in apps like Find My Friends and Maps, gaming apps like Pokemon Go, and even some social media apps like Instagram and Snapchat may be using your location. If you want to keep one of these apps but stop it from accessing your location, you can turn off location access in your iPhone settings. To turn off location access to all apps, open your settings, then select Privacy. Tap Location Services. Then tap the switch in the top right corner to disable location access. To confirm, tap Turn Off at the bottom. The third type of app you should delete are apps that hog your device's storage space. Apps that commonly take up the most amount of storage are extra web browsers like Google Chrome, media streaming apps like Netflix or Spotify, and gaming apps like PUBG. You can see which apps take up the most storage space in your iPhone settings. To see which apps use the most storage on your iPhone, open your settings and select General. Then tap iPhone Storage. Scroll down to see a list of apps that use the most storage on your device, in order from most to least. The fourth kind of app you should uninstall are apps that drain your device's battery the fastest. Communication apps like FaceTime and Skype, as well as navigation apps like Google Maps, can use up lots of battery power. You can see what percentage of your battery was used by an app since it was last charged in your settings. To see which apps are using up your battery power the most, open Settings, then scroll down and tap Battery. Under the Battery Usage heading, you'll see a list of the apps and features that use your battery the most, listed in order of percentage of battery used. The fifth type of app to remove from your iPhone are apps with privacy issues. Some apps may have access to information you don't want them to be able to access, like your phone number, text messages, photos, location, and more. Apps that may be accessing your data without you realizing include social media apps like Facebook and Instagram, cloud storage apps like iCloud Drive and Dropbox, gaming apps, weather apps, and more. You can control what data an app has access to in your settings. To control what data an app has access to on your device, open Settings, then scroll down and select the app you want to check permissions for. To disable access, tap the type of data you want to change access for, then select Never. The last kind of apps you should get rid of are any others that you don't want, need, or use. Uninstall any apps you don't use to free up storage space and allow your device to run faster without additional unnecessary apps. 
Now that we've gone through all the types of apps we'd recommend deleting from your iPhone, I'll show you how to uninstall an app on iOS. First, scroll through your pages of apps to find one you want to remove. Then, tap and hold on the app icon until all the apps on your screen start shaking. Tap the X at the top left of an app you want to remove. To confirm, tap Delete in the small window that appears. If you ever happen to change your mind after uninstalling an app and want to reinstall it again, you can easily re-download any app from the App Store. That covers all the apps you should delete from your iPhone and how to remove them from your device. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.